Today, my guest is Mr. Travis Orbin. Greetings and salutations. <laughs> Travis, thanks for taking the time. So, Travis, let's start with your, your basic approach to hand technique. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I hold the sticks a little high up, I guess higher up than uh, some drummers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, I leave a little bit, of, I try to leave a little bit of space here, a little bit of a gap and I shoot from the wrist. So it's kind of, I don't know, primal. There's the really not much to it. Uh, I don't use any fingers. And that is because I, not because finger control is inferior, it's just that uh, I would prefer for my technique to translate across any playing surface and uh, for me, uh, wrists, wrist control contains the most amount of power and uh, dynamic control. So with the hands, I play four-way, well, with the hands and feet, I play four-way unison strokes, but again, I'm just going to demonstrate the hands. I do this uh, to a metronome marking of 70 beats per minute. That's quarter notes, but I also configure my metronome to count 16th notes. So I'm very precise with it, trying it as best as I can to not flam with the metronome. And uh, again, I shoot from the wrist, so, but I also uh, play with a lot of power. There's no like tapping. Yeah. So there is like involuntary form movement, if you will but I just want to emphasize that it's just wrists. So this is an exercise you can do. Your take on open-handed playing. I feel like you have more dynamic control between your limbs mm -hmm. and you can also hit the snare harder and in a more comfortable general posture, like a general uh, position, like it just uh, crossing your shoulders just I don't know, it never felt right to me. And uh, as far as beginning exercises, I'm assuming you're, you're, you're not just now starting out, you're transitioning to open-handed playing. Yeah. So just, you know, improvise, find a groove that you really like. And just try to recreate it, switching, you know, to open-handed. But bear in mind all the little nuances, you know, what your dynamics are on your hi-hat, uh, obviously all the notes that you're playing, and and try to match the uh, the quality of the sound. Obviously, the, the tightness has to be there as well, so mm -hmm. practice to a click. Mm -hmm. But uh, mainly just observing your body posture and making sure that all those dynamic nuances are, are not lost in the transition. Yeah.